A principal IT officer, Joseph Zimenya, wants all those dealing in electronic transmission products and other related materials to be careful on how they dispose of their waste. This was during the International Electronic Waste Management Day, held at the minister's village in Ntindai, Kampala, suburb. Zimenya says government has set up strategies aimed at saving the environment through the use of e-waste management systems. The government has developed policies and, and strategies and guidelines. And as government, we call upon others to do the sensitization. Zilimanya Joseph says that all stakeholders should get on board so as to enhance the tracking system of the end user effects caused by electronic waste. When you go on the ministry's website, you can find the e-waste uh, policy of 2012, you can find the e-waste strategy of 2013 and the guidelines of 20, 2016. These documents can help us as a country fight against the effects of e-waste and also make mass mobilization so that people can be able to uh, understand the effects of e-waste. The chief executive officer e-waste, Sam Ejoba, says electronic waste has a number of threats, especially health hazards, that can be detrimental to both human and animal health. Oh, and appreciate the fact that the gadgets, electronic gadgets, and some of the electronic equipment we use either for personal use or domestically at home, or even for commercial purposes. Within them carry lots of very dangerous metals and chemicals like zinc, lead, mercury, and many others. And we are aware that when these elements are thrown around and end up in our water, end up in the soil around our compound, or even when they are burnt and then uh, exposed to the atmosphere. A board member, your Social Work Association, Miracle, wants all manufacturers and e-western end users to ensure proper disposal of hazards materials. And here we are appealing to the public, government, private sector, CSOs and NGOs. Let us collaborate and put our efforts together to ensure that e-waste is not just disposed of, but it is managed in the right way so that we can safeguard both the environment and the lives of our people. Kayumba Steven compiled the report.